Hello, everyone, and welcome to an episode of Joypad Podcast. I am one of your hosts, Mr. Michael Pinto. I'm here. I'm alive. I'm alert. I'm getting over COVID, so if you hear me start to cough and then suddenly go silent, it's because I'm coughing, but I muted my microphone. With me today... Not dead. Not dead. With me today are Mr. Michael Fleming and Megan. And Tom's got some sort of plague this week, so... Hopefully he's feeling better. And uh, we're going to talk about stuff that he'd be less interested in this week anyways. <laughs> just to make, you know, to make him feel like he's missing less, I guess. Um, I am drinking some Cherry Pepsi. And did you guys know that uh, Cherry Pepsi is not just Cherry Pepsi, it's Wild Cherry? Uh, I think so. As opposed to, like, yeah. Cherry Coke, who used domesticated cherries i suppose domesticated <laughs> i don't know what what makes a cherry wild you pick it in the wild right it's like Wee, I'm wild. <laughs> yeah i don't know uh, i'm not gonna you talk found about... me on the side of the road Ooh, those are the best kinds of cherries i i've never actually seen a cherry in the wild i live in pennsylvania we don't grow cherries here <laughs> i'm also drinking water because I drink water, man. You gotta stay hydrated. I'm not. Gonna, I'm not gonna talk about what I'm playing yet. We'll circle back around to me, and I actually have a topic tonight, which should be fun and also interesting. I hope. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm about to start coughing. So Fleming, how are you doing? What have you been playing? What you drinking? Tell the class. I heard the mute. You're good. <laughs> um. <clears throat> uh what if I, i'm drinking water that's all i got tonight just some water because i i have don't have a lot of beverages in the house right now unfortunately like it's gonna sound weird and like I, i'm not trying to like i wouldn't drink it on a podcast but like trying to emphasize my lack of beverages uh my coffee machine is broken so i can't make coffee right now uh i ran out of milk which granted i'm not like a a, a milk drinker yeah, I'm not like, oh, I'll bring a glass of milk upstairs for the podcast. Shout out but, to Dave. Uh, <laughs> shout out to Dave. Dave probably would. Um, but yeah, I just like, I have very few, like, I don't have any tea in the house. I guess I could make tea probably because we probably have tea bags. But, you know, my my options are limited, um, if you will. <clears throat> uh, so just water tonight. Um and uh, in terms of what I've been playing, uh, I've been playing some AOE 2 this past weekend. I am starting to get pretty darn good. I think I mentioned that before. Um, but I've hit a point where um, I might actually play some ranked games because I want to I want to compare myself 1v1 to other people because I, I do think I am pretty good at the game um, at this point, especially with certain certain types of sieves um so might be something for me to try out uh i haven't really played much else i've been uh i guess exceedingly busy outside of like that and very 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 tired recently um so i think that's like all i've played in the past week or two um yeah i think that i think that's basically it uh going through my head mentally and I can't think of anything. So, Megan, uh, you, how are you doing? What are you playing, drinking, consuming for nutritional value? Uh, speak to the class. Sure. Uh, lots of cardboard. Um, I'm doing okay. I am. I'm sleepy. I'm tired. It's what day is it? Is it Monday? It's Monday. It was a long Monday, as Mondays tend to be. Uh, as far as beverage, I'm enjoying some leaf water as always. Uh, it's not my standard pure leaf. Please sponsor me. I love you. Um, it's, uh, it's cold peak. I'll take it though. Um, but yeah, as for games, not playing too much, uh, still playing grounded here and there with my fiance and some other friends. Uh, I also decided to start, uh, Resident Evil, uh, the other day. I'm like going through games that I've never played before or haven't played in a really long time. The first one? Um, yeah, I, I honestly I never played it. I, I wasn't I wasn't a PlayStation kid until the PS2, and I just never got around to it ever. Um, 
so I'm I'm playing. I think it's like one of the updated versions of the the game. It was a port. Um, it's hard, man. Are you playing it on what? Are, what are you playing it on? Uh, the PS5. Did so it's probably the uh the remake that they did for the GameCube. I would guess uh, like that's the most okay. recent one. But uh, they did a really good job with that one. That's a really good remake, and they added a lot of extra content to it. So. Oh, nice. You'll. I have, mean, it. it... Yeah. You'll have to let me know what you think. I don't know how far you it, are, so... I'm not very far at all. I, I started it mm, last night and maybe played, like, an hour-ish, not even. Um, I mean, for, you know, the time that it came out and it being, you know, what it is, it, it, it doesn't look bad. Um, I just hate the cam camera angles so much. <laughs> like, I just hate that fixed angle. Um and aiming is really hard. Like, it's it's difficult to fight zombies in that game. Um, so I'm trying to, like, get over the frustrations of it uh, to really enjoy it. But I'm looking forward to it. I think I'm going to... Uh, my intention is to play that, finish it, um, actually finish the RE2 remake, go to RE3, and then uh wait for re4 to come out yeah um, i i have that vague I, i've had that vague idea as well uh, i never played resident evil zero um okay which it's technically the first resident evil even though gotcha you know. but uh yeah, yeah my, I, my first game wasn't <laughs> my first resident evil game was resident evil 4 so I, I didn't play any of them until that game came out on the gamecube uh yeah so. my my first one was re2 but uh, uh okay yeah, you never finished that remake, huh? No, no. Uh, some stuff came up in my life, so I kind of um, got distracted from that. But I will get back to it. I really enjoyed it. I was having a lot of fun with it. So, uh, yeah, those are my intentions. Um, I don't really care for 5 too much. 6, really not a whole lot. They're, they're um, a lot more I, fun co-op, honestly. Yeah, I had a lot of fun playing 6 with you. And we, we played bits of five together right mm -hmm. yeah that was fun but um that's really it for me there are definitely some games coming up coming out this month actually later this month the uh, dlc for resident evil 8 is coming out um i think friday maybe so mm -hmm. i have that pre-ordered i'll play that we'll see how it goes i still haven't um, played that yet either uh, you know some stuff came up in my life and i just kind of <laughs> put it to the side and Never got and it, back it has to the it. first person perspective, which I know you have a hard Not time with, favorite. but yeah, it and and they announced a, a third or yeah third person view or third person mode is coming out, but I I believe you have to buy the gold edition of the game, that's or maybe not just cool. the DLC. That's I'm not still, sure. That's I, not cool at all. Yeah, it's either sixty dollars or twenty dollars that you need to pay for third uh, person view. Um, That's... which is a bummer. Yeah. It's really unfortunate. Well, and uh suck it, Capcom. Yeah. But yeah. But that's it for me. Uh Mr. Pinto. Uh uh what are you well you're you you already talked a lot about what you're drinking and, and how you're doing. Um what are we what are we gonna talk about? And maybe like what have you been playing if you've had time? Uh well you know, a lot of people talk about how when they're sick, they're like, oh, I'm going to do this, and I have time to do this. I'm like, no, I was just in bed. <laughs> like, all of last, not last week, but the week bef before when I was really sick, like, that, that entire week is just kind of like a haze to me. I don't remember mm -hmm. a lot of it. I passed out at one point. Like, oh, it wasn't geez. a good time. Um, so I didn't really get to play <laughs> many games during that. Uh, now that I'm back on my feet, I've been... Continuing Legend of Lagaya, and with the news of, I mean, we we knew that Capcom was doing the Resident Evil Four remake, but uh, mm -hmm. I decided to go back and uh, I'm playing Resident Evil Four right now. I'm actually uh, I decided, well, since I'm doing it, I may as well like capture it, you know. So I'm doing a screenshot let's play of uh, RE Four, and it's a short game, so I should be able to plow through it pretty quick, and may as well put it up for Halloween. For the spooky times. Mm -hmm. That's right. Although I don't... I don't know. It's my opinion. Resident Evil 4 is a great game. I love it, but I don't think it was love that it. scary. No. Like, it was It was much more of an action-adventure action. game than, like, a survival horror game. So There were some, like, 
cool parts, I think, oh, like yeah. when you're sneaking around the homes. But yeah, I, overall, I definitely agree with like it, it, primarily action based. Yeah, and th- the other thing is like in the early Resident Evils, you kind of ran away a lot more. You're like, I don't, I don't, I don't want to deal with these zombies and this garbage. <laughs> so, in Resident Evil Four, you don't. You, you don't really find yourself, like, wanting for ammo or grenades. You're like, I'll just fight mm. everything. I don't care. What so are that, you buying? Yeah. That kind of also mars my opinion of it as a survival horror game. As a gotcha. game, it's great. Love it. Uh, but that leads me to our topic for tonight. Uh, recently, and by recently I mean over, like, the past week or two. Uh, it's currently... Last week. Yeah. It's currently the 24th, if I if I want to date us, so that by the time this comes out... Um, I would date us. Yeah, I would date us. I'm not Polly, sorry guys. And most of you are in committed relationships. All of you are, yeah, actually. Yeah, it's a lot of so, work. It's just me. I probably wouldn't date me, but that's okay. Oh. Um, <laughs> I wanted to uh, talk about a bunch of the games that are coming out soon, and To that end, uh, I figured we'll do some real-time reactions. Now, I haven't seen all of these. I've seen bits and pieces, um, but they've announced a lot of cool stuff recently. The RE4 remake, of course. There's a whole Silent Hill revival going on, which I am Mm -hmm. so excited about. Silent Hill is one of my favorite game franchises, and it's been lying dormant since, like, 2014. 72 years. I believe PT... Or that. Was, what, 2014 or 15? Yeah, 2014, 2015, I would say. And yeah, It's the, been a minute. <clears throat> yeah, the last Silent Hill game that actually came out was Downpour, and that was on mm-hmm. PS3 and 360. Yeah. And it was it was okay. I liked it, but it was nowhere near the greatness of, like, the original 4, I don't think. But, um, what else? Oh, Dead Space? The Dead Space mm-hmm. remake? Same thing. I... I love Dead Space. Dead Space 1 and 2 are some of my absolute favorite games. Um, they're like what I think Resident Evil 4 was shooting for in terms of action adventure mixed with horror. Mm. Mm-hmm. Um, because the horror in those games was much more pronounced than it was in right. the more action-oriented Resident Evils. I don't know if you've looked at it either. and. Uh... People are tying it into or like calling it a spiritual successor to uh, Dead Space, but Callisto uh, Protocol. Yes, that I think looks, that comes out in November. That looks very good as well. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty a little excited for that. Kind of bummed about some of these things, only because like I have an older computer and I don't mm-hmm. have a PS5, so I'm kind of like, what should I do about these games? You know, should I come hang out? Well, that'd be nice. I should do that, but um, it's just like. Me, I'm thinking I'll get them on PC because I'm going to upgrade my computer eventually. So when I do that, I'll own the games already. They'll be in my Steam library. So then I can play them to their full potential once I upgrade my computer. Mm-hmm. I, I, it'd be kind of dumb to buy PS5 games without having a PS5. Right. So, yeah. But uh, let's let's look at some of this stuff. Let's We're doing this in real time. So, excuse my... Uh, Ugh fiddling around with settings and stuff. 17 plus. Uh, this is going to be a more um, YouTube-oriented episode. So right now we're going to look at... Uh, what did I pull up first? This is the Dead Space remake um, that we're going to be looking at. So if you guys want to look it up in podcast land, feel free. Go to but, the YouTubes. Yeah, but uh, we're going to check this out. Now... Fleming, I know, I'm sure you didn't play Dead Space, right? Megan? I've just watched you play bits and pieces of it, but never never played it. So, this is a I I believe it's like a from the ground up remake like they did with like The Last of Us Part 1. Yep. So, let's, uh, let's watch this. Real time! Woo! Yeah! Likely mature. Why does it say likely mature? <laughs> oh, because it's not actually rated yet. This is the emergency maintenance team of the USG Kelly and responding to your distress call. Isaac Clark. What have you got, Isaac? 
Path the Ishimura's in the red. Engines, hull, the trams. Can you handle it alone? Fix the centrifuge. Get the fuel running. It looks really good. Like, graphically speaking, it looks amazing. It does look very cool. I don't know if it's just me. I, I didn't get the audio, but I, I added the spooky Same. noises in my head. Mm -hmm. So I was like, ooh. It, look, it looks <sighs> spooky. It looks spooky. No, I think I, um, didn't Dead Space have a, uh, like, an arcade machine, too, beyond just, uh, like an actual a game, I I feel like there was, but I I know what Dead Space is. I don't think I ever played it beyond like a any kind of like on like arcade like thing. But I mean, it's a zombie scary shoot 'em up kind of thing. So yeah, um, I, as the one person here who has played Dead Space, <laughs> it looks very very faithful to the original. Between just like. The, the layout of the ship, the, like, the cold, you know, industrial steel and all mm -hmm. that. The way Isaac looks, that's the name of the protagonist. And the mm -hmm. monsters, like, I can't remember the names of the monsters. I mean, we usually make up names for monsters in our games anyways. The baby. Mm -hmm. um, True. But uh, it looks very faithful to the original, which makes me happy, of course. Yeah, we've talked a lot about remakes versus remasters and stuff like that, and I, I definitely appreciate how good graphically the video seems to be. You should so. be able to get the audio now as okay. I resume cool. it. I said play. There it goes. Now, I will say that the zero gravity segments already made me want to barf a little bit. <laughs> I, I really like the design of his armor. Yeah. And the the thing about it is Oh, I hate that boss. He's he's not like a soldier. He's just the ship's engineer. Okay. Humanity will be made fools to talk. With over that Isaac, it's me. It's all falling apart here. I can't believe what's happening. Nicole? Nice. It was spooky. Now, I, I normally don't like EA as a company. <laughs> Just... <laughs> Generally there. speaking, <laughs> but I'm glad that they're going through with this. Yeah, and and I can say for someone who, like I said, I watched you play a little bit of, you know, the first one, um, but never experiencing it myself, seeing this makes me really excited for the game. Mm -hmm. um, I, I think it has that, like, perfect blend of, of spooky and action, um, so I'm really looking forward to it. Now, is there an official release date for this yet? Yeah, um, I think... Oh, January. January yeah. 27th, next year. That's not that far off. Uh-uh. Um, I hope that it actually comes out when they say it's going to. Uh, we've we've talked about the myriad of delay. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's happened too much lately. Everything and everything. But, um... I don't... See, now I'm like... Should you should should someone who's never played Dead Space before go and play Dead Space the original before this comes out? I don't really know. 
I think that is a depending on how old the game is can be a stretch, right? I mean, mm. if for example, like I think there's benefit to going back and playing, especially like if you look at Final Fantasy VII, right? There's benefit to going back and playing the old one um, to understand one where the new one came from, but also you're going to realize that things will be different about the new one. Um, something that's like a straight remaster of a game. Um, like, I don't know if there's any value to go back and play the old one, except for people who want to try to experience, you know, nostalgia for the older version, what they came from. Mm -hmm. I don't think a young, like, I don't think a kid whose dad played this game, for example, um, you know, would be like, oh yeah, you got to go back and play the first one. Like, truly understand um if it's going to be basically the same game just prettier. yeah so if it's just the straight up remake just making it look better there's there's no yeah. reason to go back yeah there's no yeah. reason to go back yeah that makes sense i guess it, it would depend on like for me <clears throat> if i play the remake and they do some things differently like story <clears throat> excuse me story beats or just anything mm -hmm. like that i might be like this was cool but you should also go back and experience the original because they did some things differently. Yeah. Yeah. Well, like, and also there might have, may have been things they wanted to do back then that weren't graphically possible. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, Megan, you were saying like, you never played the original resident evil because of the camera angles or, or like you didn't like that about it. But mm -hmm. if you were to be new and you came in and you played where it was like a, you know, a first person version of the game or the camera angles are a little easier to shoot zombies right. being able to be like, Hey, you know, look how like, this game is so much more difficult, uh, you know, back then versus now, like it's, it's kind of good to go back and experience that. Yeah. If you're kind of into that. I don't think kids these days are very into that kind of thing, but no, some of no. them might be, some might be like, yeah, I'll try it out. Even um, like personally myself playing, like, look at The Last of Us. They did a ground, you know, up um, remake of it. I played the first game. Incredible. Loved it. I would tell anyone who hasn't played the original, if you have a PS5 or you have a computer that can handle it when it comes out on PC, I don't think it's out yet on PC, but if you can, play the remake. Don't even go back to the original. It's way more beautiful, and it plays a whole lot better. Uh, control wise so like don't struggle not that it was a struggle in the original but they made it so much smoother and it's more in line with part two as far as how that plays i would i would recommend playing something like that so i'm sometimes i think it's better to play the remake especially if nothing changes for that reason alone plus i like new shiny things There's a very, very loud farty truck I... going by my window. That's why I was ah. being quiet. I thought we were I thought we were just like waiting for you to No, get there was just a so very important point. A very loud farting truck just going by the the uh, the front of the house where my window faces. Now my window cracked because it's warm in here. Crack. Yeah. Well, you have a crack and it sounds like he had a crack. Yeah. Because he was a farting truck. So All one right. Two. We're we're moving on to the next one. This is the Resident Evil Four remake trailer. Now, uh, I watched. I don't. I don't think I watched the entire thing. I think I saw bits and pieces of this one. Uh. So, let's look at the RE Four remake trailer. This is the story trailer. If you're looking this up on YouTube Land, there must be different ones. Yeah. Now, Resident Evil 4 has come out on basically every console <laughs> since it came out, too, so... It looks so pretty. It does. You're here looking for someone? Maybe. Some missing senorita? Ashley, where are you?
Your soul requires cleansing. Ashley Graham, are you in here? Just let me go. Listen. I'm here in the president's orders and... What is that? What do we do? The last lamps are escaping. We need to go. She's still wearing a mini skirt. I always no. hated this I'm gonna get you home safe. You can stop right there. Ada. Who are you? What are you doing here? My faith will decide who will show her the bad. Ashley, run! The entire world shall overflow with these grains. What's happening to me? <laughs> now, abandon your body. Leave the girl. She's lost no matter what. Now that he has chosen death. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. March 24th, 2023. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Here's the first thing I'll say. I'm really glad that they put the four after Resident Evil. Because if you look at the original, the the four was in front. It was like four Resident Evil. And I'm like, okay, you could stylize your title, but don't don't do that. <laughs> but it looks really this... pretty. Is this a, a like a remaster where they're not changing the story? It's just kind of I, it looks um, like it's more just a. I I don't know. I I know <laughs> it's it seems very minor, but I know a lot of people were very upset. I think in the trailer I missed it here, uh, but but Pinto, you played it. Um, remember the wolf or the dog in the beginning that you yeah. can rescue? Uh huh. Uh, apparently, when you're going through the world, he's dead. Um, and like he becomes a big part later in the story. Hmm. So people are wondering, like, if that's a change, what will happen, and what other things did they potentially change? See, it's so yeah. Well, because they've already remade Resident Evil Two, or Resident Evil Three, and they, I mean, Resident Evil Three, they took a lot out actually. Like, there were just whole sections of the original that were not in Resident Evil 3, in, in the remake, at all. Like, the clock tower, there's a whole big thing. There was no clock tower in the remake. So, I I don't know if they're going to do that here. Like, it, it's really hard to say until we get to play it, I think. Yeah. I'm really interested, too, to see if they're kind of trying to change the storyline that they built themselves into because things got weird for a bit um unfortunately you haven't finished resident evil 8 yet right and they they do a lot of mm, i don't want to spoil anything but like really kind of core story setup at the end of the game okay so i i feel like as they're doing these remakes it's kind of partially to reset some of the things that they've told throughout them. I mean, I could see that, like, if they're kind of retconning certain things. Mm -hmm. Um, But yeah, I, I really don't know about, like, <clears throat> excuse me, what they're going to change, if anything. Because in terms of, like, the Resident Evil 3 stuff, it had no real bearing on the story, what they took out. It was just mm -hmm. kind of gameplay stuff where it was like, you know. Some, just something else to do. Yeah, some people might be like, oh, well, it didn't matter. That part of the game wasn't important. You know, it was just kind of like gameplay padding as opposed to anything story or lore-wise that you'd be concerned about. So, right. I don't really know. Uh, It'll be interesting to see. I'm excited. Yeah. They made Lewis look like a real asshole. Like... <laughs> He's always smiling. He's got that shit-eating grin. Uh-huh. And, like, I know in the original, he was like, oh, I'm a ladies' man. But uh, <laughs> it looks like they're really playing that up here. I As I, I watched this originally when they, they released it, um, for the life of me, I could not remember our connection to... Is it Ashley? 
I forgot who she was, and I'm like, is she our girlfriend? Is she, who is she? <laughs> She's the president's daughter. Yeah. And you're going to rescue her. I guess. <clears throat> I couldn't tell if she was, if she was wearing pants or a skirt still. I think a skirt. Because that was, I mean, you know, Japan. Kind of a kind of a thing they did where you could, like, look up her skirt in the original and she'd get upset at you. Oh, really? Yeah, you never had that happen. I never did it. I'm not... Okay, look. <laughs> you weirdo. Yeah, look, it happens, okay? <laughs> like, because she won't climb down ladders by herself. Right, right, right. So, right, like, right. you have to catch she's, her. She's a terrible NPC and one that you have to uh, rescue and guide through a lot of areas. Yes. And I'm not looking forward to that part of the game. Love everything about the game. Any part that involves escorting her around, I fucking hate. Well, I mean, there were yes. a lot of parts where you could just tell her to hide in the dumpster, so. I guess. It's like uh, Goldeneye um, on the N64, that, like, final mission when you have Natalia that you need to escort around the bunker, and she just happens to get in the way of, of your gunfire and enemy gunfire and dies every single time. I'm sorry. I really, I hate escort missions. I, I'm done. I never, I'm, well... As we've discussed, I've never actually played Goldeneye because it made me want to yarts. But, like, <laughs> um, I don't know. The Last of Us did escorting well. <laughs> it did. Because, uh, yeah. Yeah, it did. Because the people you were with could, like, handle themselves, though. So. Right, right. Uh, so now there's a whole bunch of Silent Hill stuff. Um, there's so, a shit ton. Yeah, you were telling me about some of them. Um, mm hmm. This is the Silent Hill 2 teaser trailer. Uh, Silent Hill 2 is, like, portrayed as one of the best games, like, ever. And I I have to agree with it, but it really has not aged well. So, like, if you, if you went back and played it, you'd be like, this game, like, as a video game, kind of sucks. But the story is what makes it, you know what I mean? So, like, in the way that it plays? Yes. Or... Okay, it's, okay. It's clunky, the controls suck, the camera angles are tough. Um, and, like, it it doesn't play super well. I'm not saying it's, like, designed terribly. Like, it's a chore to get through. But okay. compared to how games play now, if you went back and tried to do it, you'd be, like... You'd probably get frustrated with it, is mm. the best way to put it. Um... Actually, all the Silent Hill games were kind of like that, but, like, for a game that is portrayed as, like... As great is, as it is. Yeah. Um, so I'm really hoping that the gameplay is much improved, and I hope that they don't do too much to alter the story. Because I think if they do, people will be upset. Uh, and it will contain content inappropriate for children. Not may. It will. It will. <laughs> When I saw the roach, I was like, oh, it's like the start of P.T. Right? I thought the same thing when I saw it. Because when you wake up in P.T., you got your little roachy buddy. You're in the basement. Also, the legs for a minute reminded me of that stupid five-second demo trailer for Abandon, and I'm like, wait a minute. Oh, yeah. Could she really be here, waiting for me? I don't know how old James is supposed to be. I've never really thought about it. Mary died of that damn disease three years ago. That damn disease. In my restless dreams, I see that town. Silent Hill.
But it's all over now. So the really interesting thing about all the trailers we've watched so far, at least to me, is because I've played all the games, like, mm -hmm. I can pick out moments where I'm like, oh, that's so cool, mm. like, to see that in these, like, upgraded, beautiful graphics. So, like, you guys haven't, well, you haven't played this game, both of you. Like, I know mm -hmm. you both haven't played Dead Space. Megan, I know you played RE4, like... To someone yeah. who hasn't played these games, are you seeing this and being like, I really want to play that? <clears throat> I'm super into it. Like, this is right up my alley. This is the type of game that I really enjoy. Um, and, you know, I just like new and exciting. Not it, not that it's new and exciting, but it's, uh, it's new a refreshed you. version. Yeah. yeah. Um, new packaging. Yeah, graphically, it looks... Um... Like, I am amazed every day when I play games like this, just how graphically um, amazing they are. To keep mm -hmm. it simple, um, <clears throat> but like, I think uh, when it comes to like more, it's not open world. It's not the word I'm looking for. But like when it when it comes to like putting yourself into. Uh, like a specific person and like into their experience that's mm -hmm. not typically the game for me unless it's been highly recommended like i may never have played the last of us for example because i just don't gravitate towards those games on a norm you know normally however if someone says right. this game is amazing you should go play it you know i will um that's the first component the second component of it for me is that they're spooky games. And I don't really have a problem with spooky games, but again, it's not really um it's not really my go-to, especially ones that um do that more like psychological horror um versus uh just like being a scary game. So I don't know. I I might try it, but it's not a game that like seeing the trailer will make me go and get, I guess is right, what I'm right, saying. Right. That's fair. Would you be more inclined to be into it or play it if, say, it was something like a Skyrim where you kind of build that character that's going to live in this world or follow the story? Um, would would you be more into it that way? Or is it just because you have to follow that specific path that the game wants you to follow as a certain person? Yeah, I no, I think I would actually prefer the story because then it okay. keeps me keeps me grounded in into it versus like an like open world me. skyrim like but trying to be spooky kind of thing okay. like yeah, yeah yeah you know like typically like we played like daisy we talked about plenty and or something like that those games aren't really ever scary for me they are tactically challenging okay and i don't really ever get like scared of oh there's a zombie there and i don't know how to deal <laughs> with them no that stuff doesn't scare me um but I, I think a story and you know is more enticing if I'm gonna play a game that I haven't really played. Now I right. think I did play a little bit of Silent Hill like to, whatever years ago. It feels like it's 20 years ago or something like that. You but, might um, not even be wrong. Honestly. Yeah, I might not it's be very wrong. Possible. Honestly, I can't. I I know I was young when I played a little bit of them. So um, I don't know. It'd be one of those where I'd try it, but um, I'd want someone else to kind of like 
say, here's a game. I have it on PS5 right now. Come and play it with me. I'd be like, okay, versus like, you should go and spend $60 on a game which you might not feel very confident right. playing or whatever. Like, I think I bought, was it Resident Evil 5 for PC? I forget. One of the ones, Resident Evil's for PC. And the first thing you do is you go into a like a dark, like old wooden home. Mm. So that might be five. Oh, that's I'm looking. seven probably. That's seven. Is oh, it first yeah, that's person? Seven. Uh, I think it was first person. I then, can't yeah, you're that's... looking for someone. Yeah, that's probably seven. All I know is I went into a wooden house, started looking around. There was a tiny little spook, and I was like, "Steam, reimburse me. I don't want to do this." To myself. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm out. yeah, it's it's one of those where it's just like I don't jump to it now. However, um, uh, I watched like Day Nine play Amnesia, right? Mm-hmm. And it was hilarious. And I was like, you know what? it's not happening to you. (laughs) Yes, because it's not happening to me. (laughs) So seeing someone else play it, I was like, okay, I can do this. And I was a little scared at times, even though I knew kind of what was going to happen. But again, I took it from the approach of tactically, how can I do this game faster, easier, without dying? Uh, Right? So I'm not like one that jumps for spooks. I don't really go for like horror movies and stuff like in, you know, that all come out like end of September to like middle right, of right. November. Like I was like, yeah, I don't need that stuff. And once in a while <laughs> I watch them, but I don't need more to often, my life. That's interesting. Yeah, I don't because I, I, I don't really like spooky movies that much, to be honest. Cause they're I, so bad. It's it, not even that it's like, I'm not in control of it. And I know that sounds weird. It sounds like a control freak thing, but like no, 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 yeah. no. when you play a I spooky totally game, you're in control of it. If you're like, yeah. I want to stop, you can stop whenever you want. And yeah. also, like you, you're the one making the decisions. It's like when you watch people, when people like yell at the screen when they're watching a scary movie. They're like, "Don't open that door! Don't go in there!" <laughs> you're like when you're playing a game, you're that person, and you can do that. Yeah, you can be like, "I'm not opening that door. Fuck that." And you you have control over the situation, I guess, is why I prefer games to movies. Mm-hmm. No, I, I agree with you there, Pinto. I, I don't mind scary movies. Haunted houses, like, you'll never catch me in oh, one. Oh, no. No way. Um, and and it, it comes from that same thing. Like, I like to have the control or have the idea that I have the control of something. Um, so video games, for sure. VR, no. Not without a buddy. I need a buddy. <laughs> yeah. You know, you've witnessed it. Ugh, uh, I don't the, like VR. The haunted general, house though. thing, like I've, I've, I don't know if I've mentioned it before. I get like upset when I get scared. Like I get angry. <laughs> so like, if someone were to jump out at me, like there's a couple. You there's, get to punch them. Couple, I want to punch them. They're just doing their job, man. Like if someone jumped out, <laughs> they're like, doing what you paid them for. Yeah, I'd be like, ah, oh, you cocksucker, and I'd get like really <laughs> upset, and I, and then I'd feel yeah. bad afterwards. I'd be like, right. I'm sorry, like. You're just doing your job. You're doing what you're supposed to do. I'm the dick here. <laughs> yeah, and like it's, we were at uh at Hershey Park, who has their Halloween kind of events going on right now, mm-hmm. and they're like, they have like some that are just like out and about, and then they have others that you have to pay for. And we were just like out and about riding the roller coasters and stuff that are still open, and there was a like two clowns or something like that. It was like a one on like stilts and another one that was like with cards and they came up to us even though we were very clearly trying not to go near them and like be involved in the spooks we just wanted to ride the ride and then go to the next ride and like they really came up to us and were like kind of like jet i don't know if it's a gyrating but like gesturing and like like really making us feel uncomfortable that to me is wrong if if you are at something that like spooks are there, but you're not actively pursuing them. Um, <clears throat> but if you go to something, you know, you need to understand you're going to be made uncomfortable. You're going to be made to be in fear. So I don't know. Um, I, I'm not one that really goes for that stuff either. And I have the problem of, I'll call it like video game hero to Pinto where like, You've gotten so used to like being scared in the middle of a video game, and then you pull out your shotgun and you blast them. Yeah. Right. So like something that comes up at you and and that kind of jumps on you, you want to push them just because that's like been your your norm. For it's your fight or flight, things. and you choose fight. Exactly. Exactly. And like that's why I've never understood the whole idea of going to like one of those like scary scream places and stuff like that. Just mm. I'm a fighter. I'll fight people if they come up to me and attack me. 
Like, I'm not going to run away and I'm not going to. Like, I might be scared, but my scared response is to punch him in the face. Yeah, that's so I'd, exactly. I'd be really careful. Like, I when I say that, like, I might hurt someone, I don't mean it in a tough guy way. I'm not yeah. a tough guy. Yeah. I mean it in a more like, I will flail and I will yep. hurt someone by mistake, not intending to hurt them. So. Yeah. And then they pop like if they like you were like next to a wall and all of a sudden the wall like rips open and they pop their face through. Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to punch them. I'm not going to jump back scared and run away. <laughs> and like, then I'm you're probably going to yell at them, too. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, I remember being a kid. I went to a place in Canada. It was called like Nightmares or something like that. In and, Canada? Uh, yeah, I was in Canada. They do once. spooky so, things in okay. Canada. They do. I feel like they're um, too nice to do that. Did they it apologize was... after they scared? Oh, you? I'm sorry. Did I scare you, bud? Were they sorry? It was. Yeah, I'm I went sorry, to. Uh, I went to Niagara Falls, and I forget why we were in that general area, but they had a like maybe it was on the American side. It's like too many years. I can't remember what I was doing. Um, but we went to this place. It was like called Nightmares or something, and they said they had, like you know they had the uh, like one of the spookiest um, kind of like walkthrough places. And it was very, very scary, but I remember there being a light at the end of a really long and, like, narrowing um, hallway, and you had to get up to the person, then you made a left. Like, you, he didn't touch you or do anything weird right then, except for the fact that it was, like, smoky, foggy kind of thing, dark, and he had a glow light, and he was saying things. I thought it was a video recording kind of thing, um, or a, or audio recording. Um, I didn't realize it was a person. I start walking up. He's like, "Come closer," or something. No. He said. And I was like, "Hey, fuck you!" And he was like, "What? What'd you say?" And I was like, "Oh, <laughs> this is an actual person." <laughs> so, like, yeah, my response typically is to fight people. So I have to be really careful when I go to that stuff. My uh, my my only other reason for not enjoying those things is like, and again, I, I may have spoken of this before, but. It's the perfect place to, like, go on a real murdering spree. Oh, God, and, yeah. And then, every, like, everyone that walks a by... A million like, percent. Yeah, everyone will be like, wow, this is so realistic. Like, that's really fucking scary. Then you go home and it's like, 20 people murdered at Haunted Attraction. You're like, Jesus yep. Christ! <laughs> well, I mean, I that's... a movie perfect. that did that. Probably. Yeah, I was about to say, there's a lot of TV movies, ser- TV series movies and stuff that, like, basically, like revolved around the idea of um doing horrific things but people not realizing because they're supposed to be like in that you know yeah, spirit of, of the show yeah uh, anyways let's uh let's check out uh this one intrigues me uh this is yeah. for silent hill ascension and um it's apparently an interactive streaming series Mm-hmm. And I'm not, like, Megan and I have talked about it a little bit. I'm not quite sure how it's supposed to work, but it it sounds cool. From the way they explained it, it it's to kind of fit into the world that we're in now where you have, like, your Twitch streamers. Mm-hmm. So, like, your, your, you know, your streaming communities are going to participate in making decisions that affect and create canon within the world. Twitch of plays Silent Hill. Silent Hill. Yeah. Uh, well, because I'm gonna hit play. It it looks like either Twitch or, like, Discord mm-hmm. chat is happening in the trailer. But it's like a 24-7 thing, apparently. Yeah. Like, I, I'm pretty sure that's just Discord, honestly. Yeah. Getting with the roaches. I, it, it was almost giving me the impression of like a like a Pokemon Go type thing, but in the world of Silent Hill where like you respond to things. Mm. Silent Hill Go. Not but not you know what I'm trying to say? Like that kind of idea. Yeah. I mean, this one is far less like in depth than the other trailers we watched. Yeah. So I'm not like I guess I have to hear more about it to know, mm-hmm. like, how interested in it I am. And I, I mentioned this to Megan, too, like, because believe it or not, we're friends outside of the podcast. Yeah. Um, it'd be cool if you could play it in, like, a small group instead of, like, yeah. a whole community doing it. Like, 
I, I don't know. I'd rather play, you know, we, we've spoken to this before. Like, I'd rather play games with you guys by far than, like, having to go play a game with a random person. Mm-hmm. That's not really my thing. Yeah. Generally speaking, I agree, especially because they might not be in the same uh, uh, mindset as you, especially online. You get a lot of people that aren't really taking it seriously. They know the whole game already or know all the events that can occur, so they're not, like, spooked or scared or whatever. So, yeah, Right. I, get that. Um, I wanted to ask you, in regards to just trailers as a whole, I personally love the short trailers. Mm-hmm. because long trailers for me always get me assuming things that are not actually true. Like, you know, I I just prefer, like, those short ones where, like, it's helping hype up a game coming, mm-hmm. and you might get a couple, like, quick shots, but you're not getting any, like, I'll, I'll describe it as, like, partial story content that, you know, people start to guess on on what's right. happening in that scene. I, I personally find that more enjoyable um than like the really in-depth like you know three to seven minute or so trailers where you're like getting like you know something like oh well who's this uh, guy like you see yeah, someone like, and they don't explain yeah, you see it someone or they're like you know they say a line like they're like marissa is that you and people are like oh marissa was at the end of the first game and then and like i just i can't take when people have like all you don't like to speculate (laughs) i hate the speculation of that stuff especially because there's people that know the game so well i just like where it's like you know you're 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 the trailer let's say is like you're inside of a room and all of a sudden like the um you know the glass starts to crack and then like the character looks over and then it cuts to like the date and then like you see like a you know, a zombie or whatever kind of spooky, scary thing come crashing through the glass. So, like, you get this, like, oh, my God, this is going to look graphically amazing. Oh, my God, this game's about zombies or whatever it might have been. Mm-hmm. Um, but, and but like, that's all you're getting, and then you're getting a date. I find those right. more enjoyable and much easier to get through than those seven-minute long ones where people then, like, take a 40-minute long YouTube video to go through what they might think this might mean and stuff like that. Just my personal opinion. I get it. And I, I think I think for me, like for all of all of the trailers we've watched so far, except for the last one, they're all remakes. So like to me, <laughs> I don't have that problem because I've played the originals and I don't have to speculate on who this person is, who that person is. I know who they all are because they're not new games to me. But the the next one we're gonna watch is completely new. I haven't seen I haven't seen this trailer at all. Like the others I'd even seen bits and pieces of. This oh, one I, the, I I the, haven't seen anything from Silent Hill F. Uh, this is the one that if you're uh, what is it? Is it trypophobia? Oh, thank you for mentioning that. If, if um, that's not your deal, you know, uh, look good luck away. for the end. Yeah, just look away. Uh, listen to us talk about it and don't actually watch it. Um, speaking of trypophobia, we did play a game called How Fish Is Made oh. at one point, and there was some trypophobia in that. Um. But yeah, I I might have the same feelings as you, Fleming, after watching this next one, because I, I know nothing about it. So this is the trailer for Silent Hill F. Lowercase f, by the way. And, and I'm sure it will contain content inappropriate for children. And it's not actual gameplay footage. It's Wapanese, though. Again, it looks really good. Mm-hmm. Like, graphically speaking, it looks amazing.
that looks to be, uh, yeah, much more body horror than the mm-hmm. others. So I have one other comment, and, and I'm curious your thoughts. Uh, how do you guys feel about not gameplay trailers versus trailers that include gameplay? Because I have a slight pet peeve when someone is advertising a game, but you don't see any legitimate gameplay or even <laughs> cinematic like video from the game. Um, in the past, it bothered me a lot more. Now that, graphically speaking, there's no real like cutscene versus gameplay, gameplay. As, as much mm-hmm. anymore, it doesn't bother me as much. But like mm. in, you know, in years past, when you would see a trailer for a game, they never showed any gameplay for the most mm-hmm. part. It was all FMVs and cutscenes. Um, mm-hmm. Now, <clears throat> I'm not worried that like everything we saw looked amazing, if disgusting, um, and I think that th- the graphics are still going to remain the same. Now, I, I kind of get where you're coming from in the sense that uh-huh. we don't know what the gameplay itself will be like, but um, it I, I don't think it bothers me as much as it used to, at least. Yeah, personally, the whole thing for me with trailers, whether it's gameplay or just like a story concept, you're selling me a concept. So if you can sell me on, on whatever it is you're trying to show us, I'm I'm into it. And I, I agree with Pinto's point because graphics have evolved uh, as much as they have. I I really don't I don't care. Gotcha. Yeah, I I go back and forth on whether I like that or not. Um, because to my my point earlier, like it, I guess in a game like this, it probably doesn't matter as much because the story is arguably the most important point. Mm-hmm. But. I'll take something like StarCraft Pinto to help you out since I know you played that plenty. Um, if they just showed me like cutscenes, I I kind of feel like I need to be able to see a little bit of gameplay too, which they did back, you know, 10 years ago for that game's release. So, you know, actually it's longer than that, which is scary to think. Um, 12 years ago. But it's just I personally like to see gameplay. Now, with something like Steam, especially indie game developers i feel like they always are streaming their games or having someone else stream gameplay content so you can watch those things separate if you want um so that's why like i just was kind of curious i i don't necessarily go either way but i do appreciate when i get to see some actual gameplay to understand how it's gonna mm-hmm. how it's gonna work and operate fair that makes sense yeah i mean a lot of in the case of at least Silent Hill games, it doesn't make them sound exciting, but a lot of them are walking simulators, to be honest. You're you're walking from story beat to story beat, and, like, gameplay itself um, is usually puzzle solving and some, like, it's minimal combat, usually. Um, and interaction, like, in the game is... It, not, honestly, like, not that exciting. Those games are, are really, like you said, much more about the story. Um, in terms of, like, Resident Evil 4 and Dead Space, though, from what we saw, Dead Space actually showed gameplay. And, like, mm-hmm. you know, it, it looked great in the gameplay. And Resident Evil 4, I imagine that, like, I, I don't know what... I just imagine it's going to be a better controlling version of the original. And the original still plays great. Like, I don't have any mm-hmm. problems with the controls of the original. Not like with, like you said, Megan, like the, the original Resident Evil trilogy where the gameplay yeah. is rough. Absolutely. Um, are we, are we, are we going to watch Silent Hill Townfall? Oh, I didn't know. I completely forgot about that. Do you want to cut it? It's up to you guys. Nah, we got to. Let's do it. Let's. I, I, there's going to be some editing happening, so let's watch one more. <laughs> Magic. Uh, I I completely forgot about that, Megan. I was I didn't even know what you were talking about when you sent that message. Oh, that's okay. I think I think it's Town Fall. Town Hall. Town no, Fall. No, Fall, Fall, Fall. I'm pretty <laughs> Sorry, sure. I'm typing yeah. it on YouTube, and it's, F, it's F, like, like Silent Hill Town Hall. All right. Uh, 
Hang on. Oh, this is a, this is a shorty. We got time. Yeah. Let me uh share. Oh, I'm still sharing my screen with you guys. I thought I clicked stop sharing. Ha <laughs> ha. All right. Let's just switch this bad boy over. Uh so this is apparently Silent Hill Townfall, which I forgot existed. Um when all this was going on, Megan was sending me messages because I was at work at the time, <laughs> and it, like a lot of so it just slipped through the cracks, I guess. That's okay. So yeah, this is uh, Annapurna is involved in this, so they they did uh, stories untold, which we're playing through. Ooh. God, we gotta finish that. All right, let's let's do it, everyone uh, that's listening. Silent Hill Townfall official teaser, teaser trailer. Look it up, or just wait till the video comes out on Sunday. Let's go. Mm -hmm. It will contain content inappropriate for children. All of these are going to be rated M. Let's not... <laughs> let's not beat around the bush, okay? E for everyone. It's Silent Hill. They're all rated this? M. Why are you here? You're to be punished. That's good. I like it. You know what? I think you're right. I mean, we've done something so awful... We are stuck here in this place, being judged by these people. But for you, I think it's more than that. I think you're here for some other reason. And I don't want to be anywhere near you when you figure that out. See, that's more like the kind of trailer that Fleming was talking about, where, like, right. I don't know what's happening, but I'm intrigued. Sure. Yeah. And sweet. Like, there were a couple little spooky flashes on the little CRT. You get some dialogue. You don't know who any of these people are. You don't know mm -hmm. the setting at all. And I'm like, I need, I need to know more. <laughs> and there... So, they announced... Four Silent Hill games. Yep. After a drought of like ten And another years. movie. Oh, yes. Yeah. And the movie. Now is the movie like a, Why, an original though? concept? Like, do you know? Yeah, so it's from the same person that did the last Silent Hill movie. Uh that he really just he he decided that the story he was trying to tell wasn't over yet. Um so, you know, hmm. reconnected with Konami and Konami's like, wait, People are still interested in Silent Hill. Oh my god. Uh, are they that Pachinko fucking mobile games? stupid? I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> that's kind of what I gathered because they're like, yeah, it kind of like revitalized the franchise for us, realizing that people were, were still interested in this. That's why we're remaking Silent Hill 2. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, no one really asked for a movie, I, I I don't think, but plenty of people ask for games, so we have four coming. I only saw the first movie, and honestly, it was good. Um, but whoever that director is, God bless you, man. Like, <laughs> for real. I am so excited about all of these now. All the mm -hmm. Silent Hill games, and also, you know, Resident Evil 4, Dead Space. Did, did um, Konami explain why they're trying to release five games and a movie all at the same time like it just seems a little it seems a little excessive Ambitious. yeah and they're not like directly developing them um for the most part they're all being developed i think the only one that's really being developed by konami is the remake silent hill 2 townfall is annapurna and no code um Annapurna, like we talked about, did Stories Untold, 12 Minutes. They've done a bunch. Um, the uh, Silent Hill F is being done by apparently a very well-known like horror visual novelist. So people are super excited for that. It um, sure looks like it. Uh, and the only complaints, Ascension. Oh, sorry. The only complaints oh, no, I've seen about Silent Hill F is, of course, you know, people are going to complain about everything. Mm -hmm. Um Everyone's like, well, Silent Hill's an American town. Why is it in Japanese? Dude, shut up. Yeah. Shut up. <laughs> Silent Hill's not real. <laughs> yeah, First for real. Listen, I live two and a half hours away from Centralia, which is basically which Silent is, Hill. Yeah. Well, that's what it's based on originally. Yeah, I know. That idea. 
So, but, and then Ascension is, I mean, Bad Robot, which I, I just know them for their movies, but yeah, I think Konami really doesn't have a whole lot involved in the th other three. So we'll see. I just hope they're all good. Me too. That's, it's been far too long. It has. Uh, we, we've gone quite long. Um, but thank you guys for indulging me in this topic. Mm -hmm. Fleming, I know that um, spooky games are not quite your bag, but I hope you're at least excited for our excitement. <laughs> <laughs> I am I'm excited for your excitement, yes. And uh, you know that when these games came out, come out, it's going to be all Megan and I are talking about for a little while. So mm -hmm. um, hopefully you'll join in on some of the fun. Maybe we'll stream some of those games or play some of them together. Yes, but uh, I think I think we should call it here because uh, this is quite a long episode. Um, I think the only ones we've done that were longer are our Last of Us Two and Final <laughs> Fantasy VII remake reviews because we got a little heated in some of those and argued a bit, which no, it's always uh, fun. This is perfect for Halloween though. So yeah, happy Halloween, people! That's yeah, right. uh, yeah. Check your candy. Check your candy. I found unpaid student loans in mine last year. Um, <laughs> make sure to uh, indulge yourself in some spookies and some chocolate. Please mm -hmm. check out our social media. So you can just go to joypadpod.com. That's where you can punch anyone fa in a haunted Ooh. house. Sorry. No, no haunted houses. We, we've discussed that. Um, you can check out our Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. And also, as I said, I'm doing the uh, screenshot let's plays. Currently at this moment, both Legend of Lagaya and Resident Evil 4 are going to be active. So if either of those boat your float, you can check them out. Uh, anything else, guys? Yes, Megan. I said boat your float. I was, yep. Mm -hmm. I saw Great your work. face. Great work. Anything else, guys? Anything to plug? Anything... Oh, uh, totally off topic. Completely off topic. Nothing to even do with video games. Um, this past Friday, there were some female pop artists that all released albums on the same day, and I found that very interesting. Uh, oh. Last Friday, uh, Midnight's by T. Swizzle came out, Taylor Swift. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. The Loneliest Time by Carly Rae Jepsen came out. Carly Bay. And also, I can't remember the name of the album. It is... Uh, where'd it go? Uh, Tegan and Sarah's Cry Baby came out. So that Very was... Very good, by the way. Yeah. I haven't checked that out. Um, but I love me some female pop artists. And I'm excited for Carly Rae Jepsen. So go listen to The Loneliest Time by Carly Rae Jepsen. Uh, yeah. That's it. That was my last aside. Who wants to do the outro? Because I'm about to start dying. If you like spooky games, cool. If you don't, still cool. Tom usually does does these. And if you were here, he would tell you to stay joyful. There it is. <laughs> Bye. Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye.